So welcome back to Deep Learning Daily. We are in my shed. This is basically where I spend all of my afternoons, which is why I try to get all my articles for the Deep Learning Daily blog done in the mornings, so I have my afternoons free to be in here. This is my hobby shed. So while I'm in here, I use it as an opportunity to do a lot of learning. And that's when I use the voice version of ChatGPT. It allows me to keep my hands free so I can get them covered with paint and still have an opportunity to learn a lot more about deep learning, AI, or any other issue I want to learn about. So let me show you how that works. I will now share with you my very sophisticated tripod, Velcro. More Velcro. There we go. All set. This way, you can see what's on my phone while I'm chatting with it. Today, I'm going to be doing wet sanding of a couple pieces for my Bo-Katan armor. I want to do that. It gets my hands very messy. Yeah, piece. Uh, so I just communicate with my phone verbally through the chat GPT app. So I'm going to start the app with a hand that does not have paint on it, and I'll show you how that goes. Tell me about deep learning, but give me a simplified explanation. Deep learning is a type of artificial intelligence that mimics the way the human brain works. It uses layers of neurons to process information. These layers, just like how you learn to recognize a friend's face over time, deep learning systems get better at their tasks the more they practice. So what's the difference between deep learning and machine learning? The main difference between deep learning and machine learning... My hands are filthy are now is now here so i can go back because there was some other vocabulary there that i want to investigate i think it was linear regression uh which i'm not that strong on so that would be the next conversation that i would have is what is linear regression and the conversation would go on and on and on from there but uh, it's a great way that i could keep learning while i'm enjoying my hobby and continuing to expand my knowledge of deep learning and I love learning this way. You can be learning about anything. I just happen to be interested in deep learning. So, isn't this exciting? We're in my kitchen now, and I'm gonna show you how we are going to use our ChatGPT mobile app to make some vegan brownies. Mm -mm -mm. So, I need to find out how I can make vegan egg using common ingredients I have here. I have all the other ingredients already in. So I'm just gonna ask my ChatGPT mobile app, have a little conversation with ChatGPT and that way I can keep on stirring the ingredients here. So it's loading, it's a little bit slow. So uh, I'm making vegan brownies. Would it be better in this dish to use a flaxseed egg or a chia seed egg? For vegan brownies, a flaxseed egg might be the better choice. It tends to create a denser and fudgier texture, which is often preferred in brownies. Plus, the nutty flavor of flaxseed can complement the chocolate. However, if you're looking for a chewier texture, you might want to try a chia seed egg. It's all about your personal preference. Well, I think I'm going for a fudgier texture. So that would be my flaxseed egg then. That sounds like a great choice. The flaxseed egg should help give your brownies that deliciously dense and fudgy texture. When it comes to sanding armor pieces for Star Wars costumes, there are a few shortcuts and techniques that can help make the process more efficient. One, use a power sander. For large areas, Using a power sander can save a lot of time and effort. A random orbital sander with variable grit sandpaper is a good choice. That's all I have for you today for Deep Learning Daily. Take care, and I will see you again next week. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you're notified when new videos pop up. Plus, it's like really good for my ego. The subscribe button is right over that way. Maybe it's that way. Deep Learning Daily, the podcast of the mind, we feed your children.